started with the Royal Fires Board in 1974, I think, or 76, and then went across when the two services become one. He worked in the Midlands the whole time. He was great in the bush, near the bush. You could tell what a fire, how many it was going to do, different to a fire opens. He just had that knowledge that we're probably losing today. And a great bike outside, but really community minded. So that's why we honour him with this competition. Good spirit of event. If you see someone lost, help them out. There's your opposition, but we're all mates. Keep going, keep going. 
Keep going, one more. Oh. That's it, that's it. Let's go, drag, let's go. Up and back. Good work, feet, guys. Feet over the pink lines. Dummies, feet over the pink line. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Back. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Stop. Good job, mate. Killing it. Keep going. Where are you going? Keep going. Jeez. <laughs> That's what I said. People still miss. I don't know. We've. Oh. oh. <laughs> Maybe I can. Hey, what was that? Uh, six, six. 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 All right. Using oh, the UN one one seven zero. One one seven zero. Yeah. Uh, how far is the evacuation required for a large spill? The book is there if you would yeah, like to use it. The three to get. One twenty. Oh, I was yeah. just reading this. One one twenty seven. You can read that all the way in, did you? Yeah. <laughs> well, it, says, it says ethanol. Ethanol fire at the base of a tree. It's That's what the last guy brought you. an extinguisher over with him and everything. <laughs> there you go. So you... Here we go, evacuation for a large spill at least 300 metres. Bingo. That's all the answer I'm after. All righty then. There's only 10 questions, but it depends on which ones you get. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Number, two. Number two. All right. What no, is an, an SP? An SP? Oh, I got the good one. <laughs> I did get the good one. An NSP. You don't know off the top of your head, easiest thing is, it is nothing to do with the distillery at all. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm no help, sorry. Phone a friend. I've got nothing. Phone a friend. Yeah, phone a friend. Ray, what is it? Nearby safe place. Yeah. Oh, right, yes. Was it? Nearby safe place. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that goes for everything. Doesn't just matter a distillery yeah. or a fire service. Like when you rock up, you've always got to have your evacuation yeah. zone. Yeah. Or... Fair, yeah. yeah.
need eye contact with yeah. the operator. Yeah. So you, you, you'd stand at a safe distance and, and wave or, or talk yeah. to the radio or whatever, but make sure that yeah. he stopped and he's got eye contact with you and he knows you. Yeah. Class C, we would have, well, you have a go at us, see if you can do it. So you've got liquids, what's half the liquids? Gases. 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 Right, spot on. Stay low. Okay. Into the pit, that's it. Okay. Fires out. Thank you. 
Craig, does it, um, does it um, On this, right. where he hits, cross, right. where he doesn't, you can't really help him. Okay. He needs to work it out. Okay. Alright. Warmer, colder. I'll, I'll say. Give you, I'll give you a moment to look at that first, can Don't get your head around. Let's you, go. Delta 5. That's really. Come on, Freddy. That's a miss. Let's go kilo five. Here. And golf's a bit of a coast as well. 
That's a way. Oh, now now I'm you're not. thinking with all your neurons. Yeah, don't be there today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I heard that. Oh, oh Hamilton Island, oh no. Oh, is that you guys? Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll take that. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Gotta keep the license up somehow. Yeah. Uh, Mike 13. <laughs> That's a, that's a hit. Thank all the judges. Um, it doesn't happen overnight. You come to meetings, you put a bit of time into it, get it organised. Um, there'll be a couple more meetings after this and to wrap up. So they put a bit of time into it for everyone. Um, to the Blues Brigade, thanks for this morning. Great. Um, and the Hamilton guys, the ladies and guys, you've done a magnificent job. Just the stand that keeps going up with the food, it's going to be pretty tough next year. <laughs> um, yeah, Jason's going to get a bill for all everyone's turnout gear going up a size. <laughs> um, just like to thank Jeremy for coming up, Bill, um, yeah, and the ladies in the office of Firecom. Got pretty hectic there at some stage, I think, as well. Uh, so that's enough of me. I'll pass over. Jason. Thanks, Adam. Um, thanks, everyone. For those I haven't, there's a lot of people here that I haven't met. Um, I'm Jason Vaughan, I'm the acting DO for Midlands um, up until this Friday. Hopefully, then I'll be the permanent DO for Midlands. So that'll be great for the next few years. Um, yeah. I wasn't expecting that. Thanks. <laughs> Firstly, um, just thanks everyone for all the brigades for attending. Like the weather yesterday was atrocious, and I thought oh, I was going to be terrible today. Um, but it's a really great turnout, and we appreciate the effort everyone's made. Um, but before um, I move on to too much, I just want to really acknowledge the uh, the Horn family um, and thank you for allowing us to continue with this event in Paul's honour. Um, just for those that aren't aware, uh, just got a little little bit about Paul, just so you know the bit of background on why this event's held um, annually. Uh, Paul was a long-serving uh, member of the TFS. Um, he actually joined the Rural Fire Brigade in 1975, um, and then the Tasmanian Fire Service Country Fire Brigade in the early 90s, um, and worked predominantly in the Midlands District, and was really supportive of and I even hear the story still today as we go around about Paul, the support he gave to brigades, and I can understand um, why this event's held in his honour, and, and I'm, I'm really glad to be part of it and that we can continue with it. Um, I want to acknowledge Jeremy, the Acting Chief Officer, for, for attending today, um, for him to show his support for the event, and also Phil Smith, the Regional, uh, the, sorry, the Deputy Regional Chief, Phil had to leave early, but Phil was with Adam Jones today. Um, I want to acknowledge the organisation committee, and I know there's a large number of them, I'm not going to reel them all out, but this goes, this takes months to organise, um, a number of emails, meetings, uh, just, just for this to happen, um, not to mention the work on the day. Um, I also want to acknowledge the Ooze and Hamilton Fire Brigade, which Adam's already mentioned, but in particular uh, James, Anthony and Jacob from up at Ooze. And I know that the Brigade um, as a whole contribute to these things, but just wanted to make a mention to the people that have uh, gone out of their way today. And then for Hamilton, Reese, Daniel, Sarah, Alice, Georgia, Katrina and Ashley, and hopefully I haven't forgot anyone. If I have, it's Daniel's fault. So. <laughs> um, and also... I wanted to acknowledge our SES out the back there um, today. They weren't part of the event last year. We're really pleased to see them here today, and I went out and had a visit to their stand. Um, and also Risdon Vale and Colebrook from uh, from outside of Midlands. And this year was the first time, from my awareness, that we've had brigades outside of Midlands attend. So thanks very much for the effort you've made to come up. Um, it's great, and hopefully we can build on that for next year. Um, just it's a couple of other things I wanted to mention. Um, We've had about 300 hectares of fire already burnt this season and we're not even into the fire season. Like yesterday it was snowing and we've already burnt 300 hectares in a number of reasonably large fires in the Midlands. So um, it gives us, 
I suppose you can appreciate these events more when we're putting a lot of our new members around these 17 stands today, practicing the skills and learning from each other and from those other experienced members on, you know, coming into the fire season, doing this type of thing, makes people aware of the things they can brush up on, the things you're doing really well, and learning from each other, who to talk to, who to ask questions from Navy and Brigades, so it's really beneficial. Um, it instigates um, collaboration between brigades and adjoining brigades and then that instigates training within um, neighbouring brigades. So it all has a flow effect and not to mention the, the large presence of TFS and volunteers in these local communities. It only got, inst it's inst and Hamilton is, a, is an example of it, you know, with nine new members that we've had here over the last 12 months. If we can pick up one or two more through an event from these in neighbouring brigades, well all of a sudden we've, we're building our capacity. And I know there's a number of new volunteers here today, um, one from Westway that I was talking to earlier that only started last week. So that's just an example of the, the sort of thing that we're trying to achieve. Um, it's promoting volunteering, obviously, in our local communities. Number one on the list, I suppose, for me is the burnover, and I know you've practised that today. Uh, the burnover is one of the main training objectives that we really need to be covering off on in brigades. Um, if we get caught in a burnover procedure, um, it's not going to have a good outcome. Um, if we train for it and, and we're prepared for it, it's going to give us the, the best possible outcome in, you know, if we were caught, caught in that situation. So if you leave, if you can take anything out of the day and you go back and you, you feel like you might be a bit rusty on the burnover, please talk to your uh, group officers or your trainers at your brigade and practice it as best you can so it becomes second nature. And in, in particular I suppose with our new GRN radios and the duress feature, how we activate that. Um, I did send some information around recently around the process and how that's been built into the, the burn over process. So if you do need any help with it or support seeing out, um, more than happy to send anyone out to help with any brigade that needs to, to work through that. Um, but, you know, and the other 15 or 17 skill sets around your pumping, GRN, your hose handling, you know, and so on and so forth. So it's really great and I'm really glad that everyone could turn out. So, sorry, yeah, if you want to come forward this year, so it was Risen Vales won our inter-district awards up in the brigade. <laughs>